We are here in the newly built university hall and university church called uh, Paulinum. And on the walls and behind me, you see a selection of the objects that we cared for. These are very historic grounds. They were developed by the Dominican order from 1230 onwards. The buildings passed to the university at the time of the Reformation in 1543. Everything that the monks had built and the funerary objects of the university were conserved until very recent times, including the church. When the uh, socialist government of East Germany decided to tear it all down to make room for a new socialist campus. So the church was literally blown to pieces on 30th of May 1968 and um, a new uh, campus was built. The objects that um, we cared for were extracted in extreme haste uh, within seven days and uh, kept in improvised uh, storage until 2002. That was when the project started and we uh, began cataloging them and uh, it was a project that uh, took, us for about, uh, took us about 15 years until 2017. Hi, my name is Sibylle Wolf. My name is Claudia Nicolaisen Luckenbach. And we are both conservators for paintings and polychrome sculpture and worked in this project for, uh, for more than 10 years now. Since 2003, a team of freelance conservators for metal, stone, paintings and polychrome sculpture supported the art collection in conserving the artworks. A few pieces were treated by students during internships or in the conservation departments of the Academies of Fine Arts in Dresden, Potsdam, Stuttgart and Cologne. I've seen a lot of damaged artworks but this range and the gravity of damages was impressive. A great challenge for us conservators, not knowing where to start first. We had to deal with really severe problems. One of the main problems was the flaking paint. In some areas, there was no contact between wooden sculpture and paint layer. Another challenge was the surface dirt, which penetrated into the water-based porous white surfaces. Furthermore, we had problems with anovia and bacteria. We had to fight the woodworm, which weakened the wooden structure. An engineer measured and weighted all the fragments. A substructure for every epitaph was constructed. The conservators determined where and how stabilization points can be set against tilting. For us, the work is not finished. We look after them regularly.